five black oyster catchers here in Point Lobo State Reserve, including uh, one, the one and only fledgling, um, which you can tell is the fledgling. It has a, uh, the, the beak, there's a darker end on the beak than the adults. So that's one of the major ways to tell. And right now it's winter, it's non breeding season, so um, the fledgling is hanging out with a group of adults. And I was just told by the, uh, some of the uh, survey participants who are here with us today that um, these pairs uh, stay with their territories all year. So these territories are really, uh, really uh, high value real estate for black oyster catcher, so they're not going to leave their territories. love knowing about what are those birds that make the sound and I do do intertidal and they're always there it's like you, you're not really at the intertidal unless you hear the black oyster catcher and the visitors love the sound so I can tell them now we have 11 to 12 territories and we have this year one successful fledgling and I can tell them the agency's working together and I believe the visitors really like to hear that Audubon of California BLM and state parks are working together to help protect these 3,000 birds on the coast of California, up and down. Um, and some people like to, you know, especially kids when they see the black oyster catcher, um, they think of a, you know, dark bird like a crow eating a carrot, which is, you know, kind of funny, and, and it's a good way to remember the black oyster.